In this video I show you 8 incredible cleaning tricks with toothpaste that you should definitely know. Therefore be sure to watch the video until the end. Let's start with number 1. Because surely you also have cutlery which is no longer so nice, shiny or maybe even a little stained like this one. All you need to clean it is some toothpaste. Because of the ingredients it contains it's perfect for making it all shine again. I put a little toothpaste on a small cloth and start polishing the cutlery. Because by going over all these spots and stains we get them removed relatively quickly. You can also polish the handle very easily so that it shines again at the end and not only the front of the knife but the entire cutlery now shines again in a new shine. Then we come to our second cleaning trick with toothpaste. Because what you can now also use it to shine again are the faucets in the bathroom or even in the kitchen. Again we put some toothpaste on a cloth and then start polishing the faucet. Here you can see with time that the toothpaste becomes less and less. And so we want to continue until everything is really nicely polished. When you have done this you should take a damp cloth to wipe over it again and remove the last toothpaste residues. After that you only have to wipe the faucet dry and then I would like to show you how beautiful it shines now. And all this just because of a little toothpaste. That's definitely something to be proud of. So grab some toothpaste for this too and start making the fixtures in your bathroom shine again. Then we come to trick number 3. Because you know that you have cut an onion or for example some garlic and afterwards the hands sometimes smell relatively bad for days. Even normal soap can't help with that. But what can help here is some toothpaste. Because this you can now put on your fingers and then rub on the fingers or wash your hands with the toothpaste. If you really rub the toothpaste on all parts of your fingers you can wash them off normally. Then wash them again with soap and your hands should no longer smell of garlic or onions. That is if your hand stinks you can clean them with a little toothpaste so to speak so that it smells really nice and fresh again. And that brings us to cleaning trick number 4. Here we tackle the sink. Because here too in most cases it's stainless steel. And we get that as you've seen before with toothpaste really really nice to shine. For this I put some toothpaste on a sponge and distribute it now here on the entire sink. So that really everywhere something of the toothpaste is to be seen. If you have then distributed everything really nice you should first let it act a little. I usually wait 10 minutes before I start wiping everything off again. For this we then take a damp cloth or make the sponge a little damp and now wipe everything really really nice. And that is until there are no more toothpaste residues on the sink. Then wipe everything dry and you see that your sink will shine like it hasn't in a long time. Everything really shines really nice and clean again and just looks beautiful. That was cleaning trick number 4. Let's move on to number 5. Here we tackle our shoes. Because you can also clean shoes wonderfully simply with toothpaste. I have such a bright shoe here now and here you can already see that it's quite heavily dirty. But in the first step we now take a damp cloth and make the coarse dirt off first. Sand or other dirt should no longer be on the shoe. When you have done this with the shoe you take the toothpaste to help you. For this you also need an old toothbrush. Put some toothpaste on it and start rubbing your shoes. In between you should make the toothbrush wet from time to time because then it works much easier. So it's best to add a bowl of water and go in here with the toothbrush from time to time. Now scrub your entire shoe with the toothpaste. This is a bit tedious but if I show you the final result then you will be convinced and want to clean your shoes only this way. 
because this can be seen in any case. If you have now rubbed the entire shoe with the toothpaste, you should wipe everything again well with a damp cloth. Then you can see that the shoe is now really nice and clean again. I have now made of this pair of shoes only one shoe clean with the toothpaste and have left the other so that you can see the before and after result. You can see that the upper shoe was not cleaned and it just looks worn. The bottom one actually looks almost like new. This way you get your shoes with some toothpaste again really nicely clean and do not have to buy a new one because the shoes are maybe too dirty. And that brings us to cleaning trick number 6 where we tackle our grout lines. Because while we clean the tiles regularly the grout joints usually don't quite get along with it because here the floor cloth doesn't go through the grout joints. The tiles get clean but the grout lines get dirtier and darker over time. But even here toothpaste can help us. For this we also take an old toothbrush again, put some toothpaste on it and make it still a little wet. And then we rub with it now through our joints. You don't have to do a lot of scrubbing here either. In most cases it's enough to go back and forth a few times. Then you will see how the joints becomes lighter and lighter over time. In a moment I also show you the incredible end result. We're going to wipe through the grout and when you're done you can go through it again with a damp cloth to make sure there's no toothpaste left. I've only done a small piece of the joint now and you can clearly see here how clean that really turned out. And all that thanks to the toothpaste. It's worth it to clean the joints every now and then with toothpaste. And thus we come to cleaning trick number 7. Here we have a cell phone which has some scratches on the screen. In the camera unfortunately you cannot see it this way. These are also only fine scratches and these we can actually fix with toothpaste. However, not if they are already complete cracks. Then you should not use this trick. But for smaller scratches you can put a small blob of toothpaste on your phone and then start polishing it with a microfiber cloth. The abrasive particles contained in the toothpaste will polish the screen making it easy to remove even minor scratches. I now keep wiping here until the toothpaste just gets less and less and in the end it has completely disappeared. If you then look at your phone you will see that most of the scratches are now no longer visible and the phone is free of them again. This brings us to our last cleaning trick number 8. If the children have painted somewhere on the wooden door with wax crayons, then toothpaste can help you to remove them again. For this I now take a cloth, put a blob of toothpaste on it and then start to wipe everything well. And then the smears from the door should be gone again very quickly. And thus you can really clean some things with toothpaste. I'm going to link you to another video here in the video where I'm also going to show you 10 incredible cleaning tricks with shaving cream that you should definitely take a look at. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.